All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the other half brewing company, and they're out of both Brooklyn and East of Bloomfield, New York, and this is their Double Dry Hopped True Green. So this is a Double Dry Hopped Imperial IPA that comes in at 7.9% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listed in time of review. This can is approximately one month old. So interesting hop bill for this one. They're using Citra, Kohatu, Mandarina Bavaria, and Motueka hop. So Citra, you know, commonplace. Uh, but the other three, Motueka, I've been seeing more and more, but uh, Kohatu and Mandarina Bavaria, not as prominent, especially in uh, hop forward beers that I've been drinking. So uh, interesting. Another do double dry hopped Imperial IP from other half. Let's see how it is. Crack it open. Pour it into the hashtag proper glassware. And we'll go from there. All right. So, yeah, that's hazy. It has this really nice deep orange color. Um, very murky and turbid, about a finger, finger, and eh, like finger and a quarter of this super creamy, uh, off color, like off white colored head. Uh, yeah, that looks like a hazy from other half for sure. Let's get a nose. Hmm. Getting a little bit of like a, uh, not using like Nelson. But I'm getting like like white grapes, like white wine-ish. Could be the Kohatu or the Mochueco. Yeah, definitely like lighter white fruits. Like definitely white grape, but like almost like a slight passion fruit. Papaya. Hmm. Honeydew melon. Damn, that that's that's a strange nose. It's slightly dank and herbaceous, but it has like this really nice, this really nice, just lighter fruit character to it. And like I said, it's, it's like white grapes, almost white wine-esque. Um, maybe it, like it's a touch of passion fruit, like overripened papaya. Definitely different. A little bit of, a, a lot of times when I get this like slight dank quality that mixes in with the fruits, like I say overripened because it, it's like an overripened fruit that's not quite, and I mentioned this before, but not quite you know, to the point where you have to throw out the fruit, you have to trash it. It's to the point where it's just, you're definitely past the point of just being super ripe. Yeah, it smells interesting, unique, different. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, tough. One. I'm getting like big, like lemon lime now. The body is like higher side of medium body, 7.9% appropriate. The mouthfeel is other half personified. Uh, soft, smooth, creamy, luscious, pillowy. Fucking fantastic mouthfeel. The name of this is True Green. I'm getting like a, like a green hot matter to this one, but right at the forefront, lots of lemon lime in the taste. Like I didn't get that at all in those. Lemon lime, like juicy lemon lime, spritzy lemon lime, just a lot of lemon lime. Pass through the palate. A little bit of that like dank kind of papaya I was talking about. Maybe even like a dank pineapple. Yeah, that kind of hits right after. And then midway through the palate, there's this like green hot matter uh, that kind of hits. And it's, um, it's it's almost grassy to an extent, floral. Definitely unique and different uh, from what I expect from another half beer. Just underlying dank quality throughout the beer, which is nice. This one finishes actually semi-dry, mild, not a lot of bitterness, mild bitterness, semi to full-on dry, a lot of sweetness up front, but on the back end, it, it, that's, that dryness kind of cuts it, but it still leans sweeter. But I think there's enough balance in here from, from that like dang quality, from that floral green uh, hot matter, from the dryness, from the mild bitterness to cut the sweetness to some degree so it doesn't lean too sweet. One of the more interesting beers from other half that I've had in a long time. This doesn't drink, like, you'll hear a lot of people say it, um, you know, other half beers, uh, you know, 98% of them taste similar. And you could say that for a lot of breweries that do New England styles. Like, you know, the hot bills are so similar with a lot of these breweries, you know, Citra, Mosaic, Galaxy, Nelson Salven, um, you know, Amarillo, Simcoe. Like, there's like a half dozen to eight, like, prominent hops that a lot of places use. But in this one, I can tell that this isn't the same as more as, as a lot of other half beers. They're using Motueka, Kohatu, and Mandarina Bavaria. 
and I'm getting something completely different here. Citra is the only like really reliable hop in this one that they you know rely on for a lot of their beers. So I'll say kudos to them for making something that tastes different to my palate. Just because it's different doesn't mean it's necessarily amazing or anything. It's just different. It's nice. I can't, the 7.9%, little bit of chest warming, nothing on the palate. Um, I'd probably guess like, you know, 7, 7.5% 7 at the very least. So, you know, the, it doesn't hide the alcohol extremely well, but it's fine. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a nice double dry hopped imperial slash double IPA. Uh, I like the characters. They're different. They're unique. That white wine, white kind of grape thing, I didn't really carry over as much. It kind of turned into lemon lime for me. Look at the lacing, though. The lacing's fantastic. Uh, we don't want to give rating-wise on this one. I'm, give, I'm going to give Double Dry Hop True Green from Other Half a straight four out of five. I think it deserves that. I think it's a good beer. I think it's pretty tasty. I think it's unique. It's different. It brings something new to the table, especially from Other Half, where a lot of their beers don't taste the same. Like A lot of people say that, and I agree to a certain extent. I would say like 50 to 75 percent of their IPAs and double IPAs and triple IPAs taste similar, not identical, similar. You get a lot of similar notes. Uh, but then you get beers like this that definitely flip the script and change it up, and I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, four out of five, four double dry hop, true green from other half. Price and availability. Availability, this is where uh, other half's shining now, just like so many breweries during the pandemic. You can order online, have it shipped to different states that are, I, I think, you, I think it's New York. And Washington, D.C., because they, I think they either, at this point, have either opened up their Washington, D.C. facility or they will do so in the very near future. Probably by the time you see this, it's already open. Um, so they have the Brooklyn location, the East Bloomfield location in New York, and then they have the Washington, D.C. location. So these are not as hard to get as they once were. Um, and I see a lot of people kind of, you know, shitting on other half now, probably because the availability is through the roof. You can't trade you know, the trade quality, the value isn't as high as it once was and everybody can get it. So it's not special anymore. Um, I've been drinking another half now for like three years. Um, I've had, you know, hundreds, hundred plus beers from them. And the beers that I've had over the last couple months are still really fucking good of the ones I had. Um, so quality wise, they really haven't dropped off at all for me. Uh, but you know, to each their own, whatever, um, price point on this one, I think it was $20 for four pack. I mean, that's what you're going to pay for an Imperial, uh, or double IPA for most, you know, fucking breweries like this $20 four pack is, it's, a, it's the going rate, whether or not you want to pay it or enjoy it or think it's fine. Well, no one enjoys paying $20 a four pack, but no matter if you think that's fair value, that's what the value is. So uh, yeah. Anyway, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. I'd like to hear people's thoughts on whether or not this was unique to their palate, different. Because for me, so many other half beers, like I said, they, they have a similar feel to them. Body and mouthfeel, sure. The taste, completely different. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.